Eastern Michigan University, a great place to obtain a quality education. But let's talk about something at Eastern that isn't so great. Parking. This is the driving detective Carly Angot, and I'm here to give you the scoop on all things parking at EMU. Eastern Michigan University is the number one commuting campus in all of Michigan. It has over 15,000 parking spots, roughly. Actually, I don't know, we never did the research. But anyways, there are more people going to Eastern than there are parking spots. Today, we're gonna go and talk to other commuters and other students who park on campus. Let's see what they have to say. How do you two feel about parking on campus? <laughs> I park on campus all the time. It sucks. It I mean, sucks. Honestly, like, if you're if you're trying to find a close spot, good luck. But like, if you're okay with parking in the green lot or whatever, like, you'll you'll find a spot, but it's gonna be on the way back. How do you feel about parking on campus? <laughs> uh, parking sucks, and it's really hard to find a parking spot that's close to the dorms. It is awful. I hate it. It's kind of like a hit or miss. It's like a game. So you try to have to figure out if you're, if that spot's going to be taken or not. Like you have to put your signal up to see if, you know, but then people are rude. So they just like zoom right past you. Yeah. Oh, do you guys live out here? Yeah. Well, no, 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 guys, come on. Well, while those two guys don't really struggle with parking, here's one student who does. We got a chance to sit down and talk with him. I am a resident. I live in Brown Munson, so I park in the parking structure. And parking sucks. Parking is horrible on this campus. They, for one, don't have enough parking spots for all the students. They care more about commuters and faculty parking than students. I have a parking pass that's given to me for free, so I'm okay with it. But um, it's hard to find a spot sometimes. Free parking for professors? This is an outrage. I won't stand for this. I spent $150 on a hang tag, and I'm not even guaranteed to have a parking spot ever. Because for Brown Munson, if you buy a hang tag, your hang tag only works in the parking structure. So that means if the parking structure is full, I have to go to a pay lot. Because if I go to the other resident lots, I'll get a ticket. A meters is my go-to place to give tickets because people pay that pay for them only for a little bit and then leave the car there for a long time. I enjoy it. I feel like if there wasn't parking on campus, then it would be chaos, so I feel like we keep the peace. Keeping the peace my ass. I did a little research of my own. I tracked down a former parking officer who worked for the department who had a couple interesting things to say about it. Take it from somebody who's been involved with EMU parking for over 30 years. It's pure evil. You know, the higher-ups always told us, don't be afraid to write a ticket. Don't be afraid. Give them the tickets. We want their money. There was this one time in particular, I remember. You know, it was a normal day, a Tuesday, I believe. I was going about my normal route in the parking lot. I was in green lot. You know, I come across a vehicle, no hang tag, clearly deserving of a ticket. Like any good parking officer, I began to write one. So as I'm writing the ticket, over my shoulder, I see an older man, you know, kind of tall, kind of bald. He comes at me, he starts swearing, screaming. He's threatening to end my life. I didn't know what to do. He says, if you give me that ticket, you'll be finished. It was at that moment, I was scared. I was scared for my safety. I thought about my family, my wife, my kids. What if I can't see my daughter grow up, get married, have a family of her own someday? It was at that moment I knew I had to get out of EMU parking. It's pure evil. Sorry. This always makes me a little emotional. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Tragic. I'm here at Quirk Hall. John Rice is inside and he is the accused attacker of the poor parking officer. We're about to go inside and interrogate him and we'll see what happens. Professor John Rice, are you aware of the allegations against you for assaulting a parking officer? I hardly touched him. Hardly touched him is one thing, assaulting is another. He never hit the ground, I swear to God. Doesn't matter the fact that you assaulted him in the first place for giving you a parking ticket of all things so trivial. 
Do you think he deserved it or not? No, I don't. I think he was completely innocent. He was just doing his job. Oh, I'm sorry then. Fuck in the green light. Here right now with a live EMU police officer. Officer. How do you feel about having to ticket people on campus for things so trivial as parking? Yeah, it's kind of a waste of your time, isn't it? Could be doing other things. All right, thank you very much. We asked our interviewees to describe parking in three words or less, or more. It's a zoo. Or a accident waiting to happen. <laughs> Five words, but I'll take it. Irritating and stressful. <laughs> it's terrible. I don't worry about it anymore. Unorganized. Pretty damn sh <gasps> Too expensive. Very overpriced. Just sh one of our cameramen even tried to interview a not-so-friendly squirrel about the parking epidemic here at EMU, but... Squirrel was not willing to give any answers. Excuse me, sir. Can I get a minute of your time? How do you feel? How do you feel about parking? Wait, 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 sir. I just want to ask you a question. The midwinter break campus was closed for a week and they sent out an email saying that they were going to be fixing some lights in the parking structure so just don't park on the lower levels so everybody parked up on the upper levels they never did any work the week school came back they closed half the parking structure it was seven weeks ago they still have parking spots closed and I've seen people working in there three times seven weeks so I'm not sure what they're fixing and I don't know why it's taken seven weeks but like if a light falls on my car that's fine, because at least it's parked. We are currently on what is the saddest excuse for a street that commuters and residents have to park on. And honestly, look at the difference. What a difference a pothole makes. You got this giant parking lot behind the science complex, right? Commuter only. That whole parking lot, commuter only. I've, I've seen it get really full, but I've never seen it get to the point where there's nowhere left for them to park. And all I can say is, why isn't like why don't they tell commuters that should be the first lot you go to? Maybe don't send them right to the parking structure, especially if they're going to pay the same amount as me. But I have no choice. They have other places to park. They can park all around campus. Green lot, Oakwood this lot here, the parking structure, but I'm stuck in this one little parking structure. This is the parking lot that our friend Alex said had parking spots for commuters and that it should be the number one spot to go for commuters. I, however, disagree. It is always full. I've never been able to park here before. The parking structure is the parking structure that they use for any events going on in Bowen. So this time of year, the youth sports leagues in the metro Ann Arbor area like to have their conference finals and stuff at Bowen Fieldhouse. And so they sell parking spots to the parents and stuff who pull in. So they're selling the parking spot that I paid $150 for every weekend for $5. And that's bull That's up. <gasps> up. up indeed. Parking is like Brexit. Just a huge disappointment. Parking is like Coachella. Overcrowded, overpriced, and it stinks. Parking is like North Korea. Sometimes it's scary. Parking is like that little bit of liquid that comes out of a ketchup bottle when you first open it. Just straight up gross. But although parking does have its moments, the reason we're all driving here in the first place is to get a good education. This is Driving Detective Carly Anka, signing off. Parking is like a tuna, tuna salad sandwich. <laughs> you don't like it, but you gotta have it. <laughs> Endeavoring 
into the abyss known as the parking structure 